Welcome back, everybody. Cities and towns all around the state have stepped up to help people during the coronavirus outbreak, filling gaps and providing all kinds of services for the public. But what does that mean for their budgets? It can't necessarily be good news. For more on that, we go live to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino. He is in Middletown with more details for us tonight. Mike. Yes, and Mark, as you mentioned, cities and towns have certainly seen an increased cost with the coronavirus, but their biggest concern is actually on the revenue side, especially when they start thinking about homeowners who may not be able to pay their tax bills. There's no question that there's going to be a fiscal impact in this current year, and then there's going to be a much more significant impact likely the following year. Hartford Mayor Luke Bronin is worried tax payments will drop because of the coronavirus. And he's not alone. Frankly, if we defer income by 30 days, we run out of cash and we'd have to borrow money. The COVID-19 outbreak has resulted in more costs for towns, including personal protective gear and overtime for essential workers. Then there's the increased demand for food from people out of work. The capacity of that has, has broadened in scope um, because there's more and more people who are in need of that, um, both in our school system and just in the community in general. But town officials are hopeful they can get money for those costs. Some help can come from FEMA, but towns are also hoping the state will pick up the slack. Many, many people will tell you that, you know, their local government is where they turn first for services. A spokesman for Governor Lamont's office says the state is looking at how it can use federal stimulus money to help. The spokesman said, in recognition of this unprecedented emergency, the state is working to continue high quality services to our residents and prudently plan for a pandemic in which its duration and magnitude are unknown. Lamont has also required towns to give property tax breaks for homeowners, either a 90 day deferral for those who can show need or charging only 3% interest on late payments. But that has some towns worried about revenues. We know that it's uh, likely to be large. Uh, we just don't yet know how large. Town officials also say they're working to get creative in how they become more efficient, keeping taxes down. I think all the towns around the state have had to reinvent government in a, in a couple weeks. Now, some towns will also see their budget process different this year. For towns that had to approve it either at a referendum or a town meeting, Governor Lamont has sent an executive order saying that that requirement is waived this year. Of course, that is due to social distancing concerns, so some towns won't be having that vote. Reporting live from Middletown, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.